Thanks for the cake, Jade. It looks delicious. <laughs> Completely vegan. Cornstarch, zucchini, baking soda, cider vinegar, organic lemon juice. Oh, finally, Sam! Uh. Great. Let's get started. So we're discussing the aircraft engine of the future with CFM International's RISE program. What's that? RISE, for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, a lower carbon, more environmentally friendly architecture. Today, aircraft engines look like this. The leap that most single-aisle aircraft are fitted with. By 2035, thanks to the RISE program, engines will look like this. But it's twice as big, yet it'll use less fuel. Uh, can someone enlighten me? Well, I'll give you the short version, Jade. An aircraft engine has the primary flow, which produces the energy to power the engine, and the secondary flow, which provides most of the thrust to move the mm -hmm. aircraft forward. So the greater the secondary flow, the more efficient the engine. Mm -hmm. That's the bypass ratio. Here, with these great big blades, a lot more air is ejected rearward. So the engine uses less fuel to fly at the same speed. I get it. Like a huge, super powerful vacuum fan. Okay, but I'm with Jade here. When it's bigger, it's heavier. Makes sense. True, except that there is no nacelle surrounding the engine, so that makes it lighter. Mm -hmm. And also, it'll be made from super light and super strong innovative materials. Right, but even so, it's going to use fuel. Yes, for a while, the combustion engine will remain the only technology capable of propelling medium- and long-range aircraft. Good news! It'll be fully compatible with sustainable aviation fuels. That is, biofuels or synthetic fuels, and even at a later date, hydrogen! Mm-hmm. And it'll also be a hybrid electric engine! Right, but uh, what does hybrid electric mean? Hybrid motorization is when you combine an electric engine with a combustion engine. The electric engine can generate extra thrust and power lots of the plane's other functions. Like my brother's new car. Hybridization. A crucial topic we should talk about another time. And this super modern, super low carbon, super everything engine of yours? Where about will it go? That depends on the aircraft manufacturer. Under the wings in either a low or high wing configuration or at the back of the aircraft. As zucchini is a vegetable with a buttery texture, Whoops, it sorry. lends itself... Sorry, my phone well. has a mind of its own. Like you, Sam. The new engine will be highly connected. And all the data collected will be used to constantly improve its reliability. I hope I'll be able to fly with this super cool engine when I'm a pilot. It is due to be launched within the next decade. And all this innovative technology means at least 20% less carbon emitted. 20% less carbon? That's brilliant. Right. I don't know about you, but I'd like to try that cake. It's so weird, though. Mmm. Delicious, isn't it? Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. Mm. Interesting. Come on, zucchini in a cake? Mm. 